Okay. Hello, everybody. I miss you all and sending big hugs your way. So big air hugs. Big air hugs. So today, I'm gonna to be teaching about pointillism. So really, it's essentially dot art. So I have my assistants to help me. So I have Addison right here and Kelsey. Hi. And they already got started to give, show a sample. And so what you'll need first is to gather your materials. So first you'll need Q-tips and paint. Thank you, Addison and paper really, so that's all you really need. Oh, well yes, we'll get to the plants, thank you. So with your paint, we're just choosing to do primary colors today. So parents, this is a good opportunity to teach art vocabulary. So primary colors, you have red, blue, and yellow. So we'll be able to, and white, and white if we want to lighten the color up, thank you. So we'll be able to really get any color we need today by mixing our primary colors. And then, so Kelsey, what's the next step? Uh, um, get plants. So get plants. So <laughs> the item that we'll be drawing today, it's really up to you. You can draw anything you like, but an idea that we had was pepper. to go on, out, yes, to get a pepper, to go outside and collect items from nature. So it's also a good, great way to get outdoors and go on a little nature scavenger hunt and connect art with nature. And so Kelsey chose, what did you choose to draw? Um, a lime. A lime is a good choice. And it's a nice simple shape as well. What did you choose to draw, Addison? I choose to draw this, a flower. A flower, also a great choice. It has nice simple shapes, so parents, this is also a great opportunity to teach about shapes. You can talk about how the flower has oval petals and a circular center, if that's how your flower looks, or how the lime is a circular shape. And so Addison and Kelsey chose to draw theirs first before adding color. I, You don't have to do that, but you can. I am going to go straight into just adding paint to the paper without doing an outline so we can just have fun with it and see how it goes so can you demonstrate the first step for me girls so get q-tips and then mix the colors whatever you want okay so have at it have fun with it so can you talk about what colors you're mixing together so you're mixing white if you want in blue, yellow, and red. What colors are you choosing first? And I'm gonna choose... Not mixing colors yet. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna choose green. Okay, and how do, how do you make green? Um, can yellow, I start? Can I start yellow and blue. Yellow and blue. So Kelsey's going to mix yellow and blue so to make green. Remember blue dots. Let me get a close up of Addison to show you what the dots look like for pointillism. Oh, that's a close up of Addison's face. But there's how she's making the dots. And Kelsey's baking her green first using blue and yellow. Are you light? What, why are you adding white to the green? So it's lighter. So you want to lighten up, if you want to lighten up the green, you can add a little bit of white. So while they do that, I can show you how I have my still life, which is a pepper set up right here. Let's see how to do this. Okay, you get the pepper.
and we'll add a little bit of red. So see, you can either choose to do the outline or no outline. It's really your choice. And the paper we chose to use today is actually watercolor paper. It's what we have, but it's a little thicker. So it's a nice texture to have with the pointillism. So you can do your dots quickly or slowly. And if you press harder, you get bigger dots. And if you just press lightly, you get smaller dots. So maybe you want to have it lighter up top. So you want to show more light. And you'll have smaller dots up top. So let's go over to Addison and see where she is. What color are you making? I made purple, light purple. How did you make light purple? I made I used blue, red, and white. Blue, red, and white. So that's how you make light purple. If you need to make white purple, it's blue, Did red, and white. Say, I think you just said white purple. Did I say white purple? Well, excuse me. It's light purple that Addison made. Kelsey's over here, busy making colors before she starts. 